Hi guys, I'm Tom Phillips. Uh, we welcome you back to the Black and White Show for this new edition. Uh, today we are going back and asking all the boys, all the coaches, about one of the all-time favourites um, of the last few generations, one of the best TV shows going around, The Simpsons. So let's go see what these boys have for us. Are you an avid supporter of The Simpsons growing up? Uh, believe it or not, Tom, The Simpsons never got in, into Queensland for a while. It took a bit of time to get there, oh, but um, geez, what? No, nah, actually, in good. all seriousness, I was a big, a big Simpsons fan. Uh, I wouldn't say I was an avid fan. I mean, I watched a reasonable amount of it, but uh, in terms of the Adam Shaw level of Simpsons fan, I don't think I'm uh, quite at his level yet. Spider Pig, Spider yeah, Pig. Yeah, what do you think of Spider Pig? We don't see him much in the uh, can you swing in the from a web. Yes, you can. He's a pig. Look out! Here comes a Spider Pig. I'm an avid Simpson supporter, so yeah, I watched it a lot when I was growing up. I still do watch it, actually. Reedy, you've watched a bit of Simpsons, surely. Um, who do you like? Who's your favourite character on The Simpsons? Oh, I love Homer. Young age, you love Bart, and then um, as you get a bit older, yeah, Homer comes into his own. He, um, yeah, he's hilarious, old Homer. <laughs> My favourite Simpson character would be Milhouse. Millhouse, he's, a, he's an interesting unit. Our, our mate, our mate Millhouse, isn't he? Uh, why do you think? What what sort of triggers um, you to think of him? Oh, he's just a big nerd. <laughs> Probably have to say, what's the uh, gardener's name at the school? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, Scottish bloke. Scottish bloke, yeah. Forgot his name, name, but yeah, he's my oh. favourite. <laughs> he's good. Groundskeeper, yeah. Groundskeeper, yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah, he was a he was a legend. Lunch Lady Doris, have you got any grease? Yes, yes we do. Then grease me up, woman! Uh, a lot of my mates thought I had a bit of a Bart Simpson haircut going on back in the well, day. Well, it's Spikey interesting now. because um, a, lot of, a lot of blokes have said that you are a little bit of a Bart Simpson's look-alike. And, and this bloke here, Adam Trelaw, a few guys, what do you think about that? I think that's quite harsh on Adam's behalf, actually. I personally think... Jo Joshy Smith looks a bit like Bart, doesn't he? With that, that yeah. hair and a little, uh, little bit cheeky. And a bit of Millhouse about Joshy Smith, right? A bit of Millhouse well. Well, the biggest space cadet on our footy team oh, who likes zoning in and out of things is Braden Maynard. Okay. Who's who say. and who would he be? He would be probably be a Ralph Wiggum. You choo choo choose me? Reedy, Reedy looks like Homer because he has no hair, is that right? I reckon right? Nathan Brown's, he's past me in that regard. I mean, if you look at the size of his eight ball of a head, it actually sounds I like that. Like, yeah. like Homer. His forehead's a lot bigger than, than most people. Mason Cox is. Mason Cox just walked past. Do you remember that episode where um, guys, like, um, I think it's Bart's teasing some bloke driving in a little like buggy little car and he's like massive and he's out the window like this? Do you find something comical about my appearance when I'm driving my automobile? One that I reckon resonates with you a lot is Otto. The um, bus driver, it's just really slow. Wow. Um, so some really, really good one-liners. You're a little bit sort of like a day school, a little bit. Marge, yeah. Marge like you are. Uh, I am. Yeah, you reckon? Ah, uh, I don't mind her hair. No. She's a little bit. She's pretty good. If you could uh, strike up an earlier photo of Jack Crisp in his Brisbane Lions days, he's got a bit of um, Chief Wiggum about him. I think he's <laughs> a little bit pudgy. Bit of Chief. Very, very cheeky. The wigs, you reckon? I don't have a favourite sort of episode, but I think the uh, Simpsons movie was quite good as a whole. I That's liked probably. it. Um, yeah, when, when Bart was skating naked yeah. down, down the street there, and then he smacked into the, the glass, and that wasn't great. Was yeah, it? nah, not ideal for Bart. I don't mind the one where they, is it Shelbyville? They're like cross-town rivals. Yeah. And they're like, um, they tell the story about how they got the lemon tree up on the hill. And then they steal it back, and it was their lemon tree and all that kind of stuff. And there's a bit there where they steal the Honey Homer and Ned Flanders and the boys um, go into the parking lot of the other the Shelbyville guys version of them and steal the steal the lemon tree back. And then they 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 obviously get it back. And um, <laughs> I love that. One. There you go. Shake hard, boy. Shake hard. Shake hard, boy. 
do you have an impersonation? No, no, I don't. You don't. I don't. You can't, you can't do it. That's one of your best ones. Uh, the host. I don't. Bring it. Yeah. Oh, maybe um, Marge. Maybe a Marge. What do you got? What does she say? Oh, homie. How you going, homie? She has that real, real croaky. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of the Black and White Show. Make sure you get down to the MCG on Sunday to watch us go against the power. Go Pies.